simple measures to get your life back on track to the joy it was meant to be is to get outside, go for a walk, get your feet on the ground. Put your actual bare feet on the ground or get grounding shoes at thegroundingstore.com. If it's too cold to put your feet on the ground, go over to a tree and put your hands on it. Observe. The abundance is in nature is the elixir. Nature heals. Although the more intellectual among us may say nature was cruel, well, isn't that true of everything? There are good people and there are evil people. We live in a polarity. Okay? So, be aware of what animals show up in your life. This video is timeless in its um, material for after my yes 57 almost years I'm 56 plus um, I have learned a thing or two and I'm here to share it with my fellow human beings that is as long as we still have the internet <laughs> and you obtain this video or somebody had the wherewithal to record it. So there is a war on our planet and perhaps in our solar system and perhaps even in the galaxy. That's versus evil versus good. At one time I was resistant to that. I don't know how that happened that I became resistant to it because I'll tell you why I believe so now. My inherent naivety as an Anglo-Saxon is most likely the culprit behind my believing that there was good in everybody. Like everybody had some inherent goodness. No matter what, I believed it. I really did. And it was my the consciousness that I had shaped when I was a child believed that. And so looking for the good in a person was what I learned to do. Well, that's not a bad little habit to have when you now recognize that your consciousness and where you place your consciousness will determine your experience. Yes, it will. Because we are actually in <laughs> choose your own adventure time. So your consciousness and where you put it determines the quality of your life. And so recognizing that there is a war on this planet of good versus evil is also a war for your attention. Pick me, pick me, say all the news channels. Pick me, pick me, say all of the marketing jibber jabber. <laughs> yeah, we're users. We use the internet. We use a cup to drink water out of. Yeah, we, we're consumers. We eat and drink. We consume. That's not a bad thing. Unless you're mindless about it. Unless you're mindlessly consuming something that's not good for you. Like what Coke, Coke Industries dishes up. Such as neighborhoods where there is lung cancer because their industry pollute the air. The Coke Brothers. C-O-C-K-O-C-H. The psychopathic billionaires who are so sick, they just keep doing profits over the planet and profits over the people, and one of them just died. And I didn't even know about this stuff until I went on the internet. And I'm like, he's a philanthropist. Oh, he gives all kinds of money for cancer research. Oh, wait a second, he causes cancer? Ooh, you look it up if you're interested. Um, 
This is August 2019 at the time this was made. Um, oh, and by the way, it's the 11th anniversary of the term of Gaia Awakening. I follow Planetary Tantra, and the full term of was given to John Lamlash and completed in August. Uh, August 8th, um, I believe 11 years ago this month. So John Lamlash is my teacher on the internet. You can go to Ginny Thwaites' channel on YouTube. Ginny, G-I-N-N-Y Thwaite, T-H-W-A-I-T-E. Look for a video called Radio Guy M, and it's Take 5 with a Turton. So the simple measures you can take uh, at, in times of great turmoil is observe the beauty of nature. Do not watch the news. Do not watch scary movies. Anything that makes your body release adrenaline cortisol, you are reducing your brain's capacity and you will go into the reptilian fear mindset, the fight or flight. Creativity comes from the ability to uh, use your brain in creative ways because you're not being attacked. <laughs> You, you can be creative when you're not being attacked. You can be creative when you're not feeling like you're being attacked. So, come on, man. Like, there are two earthly addictions, anger and fear. And they are, um, can be dug up. Like, you can go into the internet and find out about Coke Industries, the so-called philanthropists. That love people so much they kill them slowly with exuding awful chemicals into the environment so that they can breathe it in. So you can get pissed off about that or you can go, wow, wow, that person, karma's one bitch, okay? So that man is going to die, he just did, his brother will now die, and they will have to face some karma. And it's not like you think, if you believe in Christianity, where it's heaven or hell. It's energy. Energy. Birds of a feather flock together. Frequency and wavelengths of the rainbow are showing us. Red will hang out with red colors. Orange will hang out with orange colors. Yellow will hang out with yellow colors. Green, blue, indigo, and violet. And stars will hang out with stars. Be the star you are. Be that glorious, beautiful star you are. So at this time in our history, our galactic center is lined up with our, our, our gosh, some sort of center. The earth is lined up and the sun portal is lined up with the great galactic center. And so we are now able to use our imaginations and our focus and our tensions to manifest the life worth living. <laughs> focus on beauty. Do the job at hand. Okay, so 5G. Oh gosh, that is something of a, of a deal, okay? Well, it bothered me until I recognized I could build a Merkaba around myself. Merkaba! And I could... Um, it looks like the Star of David, but it isn't. It's a 3D thing, and uh, Star of David was stolen. Not stolen, but that symbol was used by the um, people who have no country, but they decided to create one somehow. And um, they're, a, they're a tribe, and th so that's not where I'm going. I'm not trying to be anti No, I'm not. I'm saying that the circle was developed by... Um, Japan, right, uh, as the, the land of the rising sun, it's a red circle. Um, are they terrible because they stole the circle? No, they're using it. But what I'm saying is when I used this Merkaba symbol for some signage I was doing, uh, my advisor said that it's going to get confused with Judaism. And I was like, but it's the Merkaba. <laughs> I had, would have to have drawn it with much more sacred geometry, like probably adding in the um, octahedron shape around it, you know, and doing doing that, that instead, um, so that it would be less 
less confused. This is a very rudimentary drawing. <clears throat> what is all of this? Okay, um, it's notes because I also am writing a book. So, um, Daddy Jack's um, my Indian Joe guy told me about the Hopi prophecy, and he told me about things that I didn't know, and it um, pretty much he opened up my eyes to a lot of things. Um, power time. Sun gazing. That's another thing that will help you in your journey. Is to look at this. If you're an early riser, and we all know early risers are smug about it. Early riser, go look at the sun rising. And get it in your eyes. And not to blind yourself. Um, night people, like myself, you're my favorite. <laughs> Those smug morning people. We know who they are. Um, yeah, I've seen a sunrise. It's, it's like, it's alright. There's nothing like a sunset to me, you know? It doesn't rock my world. Um, look at the sun setting and receive the energy in the photonic plasma that's coming through to awaken your mind and to allow the healing. Say, I'm allowing the healing plasma, I'm allowing the healing codes, I'm allowing the waves of plasma, the waves of light from the sun into my being, not just the eyes, into your entire being, and allow the healing to rejuvenate your body, to awaken yourself, and to allow you to protect yourself from the 5G. So you can imagine that, and you can also call upon protection of your higher self. You can call upon the protection. Simply, it's as simple as this. Hi, cat, and now connected to my higher self. My higher self is connected to all my higher dimensional selves and higher dimensional beings and frequencies that will protect me. And they are protecting me now from harm that could come through. 5G, smart meters, wavelengths, negative radiation, and negative thought forms, beliefs, and ideas, and projections of others. Now, if you learn on the Shrek Cluster app, um, which I will leave the links below, you will realize that every single one of those spots on this beautiful symbol, this magical symbol, uh, will allow you to call upon the specific Mahavidya, or usually it's the Mahavidyas that protect, um, the ones that protect are Kali, um, Akajati, the, the plated one, um, Vajra Yagoni, uh, for me, is a Diamond Sky Dakini, but somehow I feel very protected from her and from Swan Devi. But they all protect in some way, shape, or form. Like Bharavi, we're, we're ending the Bharavi shift. She protects small, she, she protects animals. Uh, hello? You're a mammal? Technically, you're an animal. You're a human animal. So pay attention to your animal nature. And don't let society beat it out of you. Let's see what else there is in here. Um, there are the seven universal laws. That's the real law. The law of suggestion is represented by the strength card, which happens to have a lion in it. Lions were our um, lion beings that you can go to Isseti Ranch near Trout, Washington State in the U.S. of A, run by James Gilead, Gillahan, James, and you can meet them yourself if you're at that high frequency. So the law of suggestion, which is also strength, is consciousness of strength and weaknesses. 
recognize for me, I had to recognize my nahevete, but I also had to recognize that that very same belief that in goodness was the one that allowed me to continue to see goodness. <clears throat> so you reinforce your strengths while facing your weaknesses and practice loving kindness towards yourself first. How else are you going to do it if you don't practice with yourself first? Right? There's the law of response represented by the hermit card in Tarot. Seek guidance, give guidance, share, let the eagles fly, as they say in the Native American. At least that's what Indian Joe told me. The law of cycles is represented by the wheel of fortune. The wheel in and of itself is a symbol of importance. The lion is a symbol of importance. In the cycles, notice, are you above or in anxiety? You know, if you look back at your life, you can take a look at all the times you worried for not, and then you found out that you could have relaxed more and enjoy enjoyed the ride. Something like the roller coaster. You're not going to die. <laughs> have some fun. Um, are you conscious of the emergence of your own soul and spirit? Like, are you conscious of your own enfoldment? Are you conscious of your own growth as a divine creature, as a divine animal, as a divine consciousness? Because when this body goes, unless you ascend in it, I would like to, but I think I have too many bad habits. Like, I do drink, and I haven't gotten off that completely. And right now, I just don't see the point in it. Um, so, instead, I have to recognize that as something I must maintain control of. <clears throat> so, if anybody drinks to excess, you know what I'm talking about. You don't feel so good. It lowers your frequency. And it can make you more susceptible to harmful influences. So, you want to be aware of um, yourself because they don't call it spirits for nothing. You don't want to be taken over. You know, when I was younger, I remember waking up and going, I know I had a really good time, but it wasn't me. It was, it was, I didn't even remember it. It wasn't like I had blackout. It was like, I was watching myself have a really good time from within my own body. <laughs> if that's happened to you, it's like, it's not a good thing. <laughs> you can get yourself into trouble. The law of cause and effect is represented by the justice card, okay? In Tarot, the justice card is not wearing blindfolds, it's holding the scale, but it's also holding the double-edged sword. In America, justice is blindfolded, and she's only holding up scale, which means the justice system is corrupt. They're telling us. It's blind. Justice is blind. It's corrupt in the good old U.S. of A. It works for those who have the deepest pockets, and those who make the laws, or the lucky ones. Never get yourself into a court of law, because there you have no rights, babe. So the law of cause and effect can be represented by the justice card. Bring your awareness to the ripple effect of thoughts and words and deeds. Yeah! Your thoughts, your words, your deeds, and where you put your attention. So, I went onto the internet after I recognized some things I needed to pay attention to, which is, am I paying attention to only the crappy stuff? Like, <clears throat> um, things that when people get hurt badly or killed? Um, yeah, I was sort of not, yeah. Yes and no. I put in, love is everywhere, love is divine. And all these very positive Videos came up, and I was like, felt in my body what it felt like for me to experience the love in the now from listening to somebody's video that had been created years ago, months ago, weeks ago, days ago. Put your attention into what you want to manifest in your life. Joy, goodness, happiness... The abundance of nature and the abundance in your own life, what you have, what you're grateful for, the gratitude list. Eliminate the non essentials. You don't need to listen to the news every day. Remember, it's an addiction because fear and anger, and that could be personal indignation. Oh, I can't believe they're doing that.
There's an energy parasite on this world, and it eats loosh. And guess what loosh is? It's food for these lower parasitic things that like to feed off of negative, negative human emotions. Yeah. And also, by the way, in the year zero, when um, the Roman Catholic Church, by way of papal degree, decree, a papal bula, P-A-P-A-L, one word, bula, B-U-L-L-A, was a decree that was sent down to the European villages that were having a good time in life, like celebrating uh, their, their, uh, their holidays. This is like all I've been studying about Sawan and, and uh, winter solstice and Imbolc and this vernal spring equinox and Beltane. Um, Beltane is Irish, but it's also said Beltane. The summer solstice, Lunasa, and Mabon. And in Lunasa, which is August 1st, that's the harvest, that's when I realized uh, it was about celebrating the mother of the champion of uh, the Tuutha, Tuuth, Tuuth, the Tuuth de Danan, of which I am resonant with. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the word. If you go on the internet and uh, get that word up there that you see, like diagonal, um, go there and uh, punch it in to YouTube, and you're going to get all kinds of education. They had the most magnificent story because these were our forefathers. These were the so-called God. Basically, they had higher consciousness and capabilities and manifestations because they weren't operating at a lower 3D level like we are. The 3D is a heavy reality, which is harder to manifest. And it's not impossible to manifest. It's where you put your attention and your joy. And the heart, my friends, not the head, is what's going to create the force field around your body, the turtle field that will create and draw to you that which is the most beneficial to you to continue to have these happy feel-good vibes. So the next law, the law of reversal, hanged man. The hanged man also, if you, if you look at Odin and the, the runes, he's upside down. That's how he got his vision. And so uh, the law of reversal is also, um, I wrote down something here, but uh, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, what it is um, that... I'm aware of it's that th it's inverted here like things are, are inverted here on the planet like things aren't true for instance Queenie in England she's a reptilian and the crowns the ridiculous crowns that they wear are mimicking the crown jewel that we have of the Christ consciousness and our connection because we are the Gentiles and of all races, okay? And we are the true um, divine uh, creator gods and goddesses. Uh-huh. Isn't that great? It's true. And when you live like that, you'll have a whole lot more fun. I tell you. And it's not ego. It's not, bow down to me. Ooh, bow down to me. I'm royalty. It's more like, you just know you're royal. You just know you're divine. It's just the way it is. Be the star you are. Be the star. And the jewel is in the lotus. And jewel is an important symbol as well, which I'll talk about in another video. The jewel is in the lotus. Om Mane Padme. Om Mane Padme. Om. Om Mane Padme Om. That jewel was the star. And that jewel is the diamond sky bikinis. Doo! Thank you, John Lim Lish. So the law of reversal is reevaluation of attitudes, beliefs, values, priorities, and thoughts. Keep looking at them and turn 180 if it's not working for you. Are you sitting, are you going home and smoking cigarettes or eating bonbons or fascinated by the, just, you just have to watch the news. Is it doing anything for you? Is it making you feel better? Is it making you feel healthier? Are you strong and fit and vibrant and getting outside and feeling all happy about life when you wake up? Or are you just like brainlessly doing your job? And there's nothing wrong with doing your job, okay? We all need money. Um, I'm not judging you. But take a look at the law of reversal. These are the, the universal laws, my friends. The real laws. The law of transformation is the death card. It doesn't have to be scary. 
Pluto right now is in Capricorn. Uh huh. And Capricorn oftentimes is thought of as the devil. It's not. It's just a disciplined, sort of hard ass sign that likes to have things its own way. And that was my weakness. I had to learn how to back off and not push it. Because my I always got my own way if I just relaxed. And my own way has always been for the benefit of of if it's not good for everybody, it's not good. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. I'm going to go to Spain and study with a wild woman that's wise. <laughs> And her adoring husband that's a strong masculine. And I'm going to take a look at the love that they have between them and study with Gaia on a land that's pristine. If I want to, it doesn't hurt anybody. The law of verification. Temperance. Okay? Temperance is um, in the, in the uh, Tarot. And verification, basically, you can uh, stabilization... It's like you, you can get a belief about something or you can go have an epiphany or shower aha moment and then synchronicities will show up in your life. A song will come on the radio that's exactly what you were thinking. Or you will find a YouTube video. So there's this one that's like exactly what you were thinking. I found it by actually discovering that it wasn't just me in the consciousness world. I am not going to get rich off of this. It's more of a way of enriching my own spirit and hopefully enriching yours, oh listener, down the road. When you recognize that, yeah, there is goodness. And we're at a place, I feel like, of divergence. That there are going to be technocratic individuals who will go off into techno land and then there will be those of us who raise our consciousness and experience the wonders and the beauty of our transformational planet planet earth <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness me oh my and this is the year 2019 we have so many fun things to look forward to the Winter solstice folks is going to be Three, 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 the goddess number. Yeah. And it's going to be a huge manifestation time. And if you live in North Carolina, Pilot Mountain is on a key ley line. So go to a ley line and put some love and juice into it. We're closing in on almost 30 minutes. Um, that's the, I just have seven laws, um, verify, verified beliefs. So if you have a false belief about something, it's not going to be substantiated by the universe. If it's substantiated by other people, such as uh, a negative belief or a positive belief, I don't know. I, I don't have any examples. I don't want to think of a negative one because that's where my attention does not want to go. Uh uh. <laughs> I want to draw your attention again to the Shakti Cluster app. Planetary Tantra is a free course given by John Lynn Lash, and he has taught us many other things such as the full terma of Gaia awakening but just to leave you with a little bit of fun information um, in section 16.100 it's called heart drop medicine and what it says essentially here interactivity with a Shakti cluster app builds into the thymus region Ma. The 18 petal lotus was 1 plus 8, and it's a vibrant, um, energizing uh, new chakra for your rainbow body. It's your mutation. So enjoy your life. Pay attention to where you have put your uh, energy and your attention. Master emotions. Master your free will. Exercise your free will to decide what it is you want. And love everything, especially your physical body. Remember to love our planet Mother and to recognize where your intention is placed, such as I intended to learn how to protect myself in the 5G world. You will receive the guidance and the necessary tools for your life. So, experience the love, bliss, and joy that is here for you break the spell that you are helpless and break the spell that the world's going to shit it isn't it's going through birthing pains 